our service in morning prayer begins on page 79 of the Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence for the song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. <coughs> the psalm appointed, well, the psalm we're doing this morning is Psalm 44 beginning on page 645 of the Book of Common Prayer. The earth is God's, for God made it. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forefathers have told us the deeds you did in their days, in the days of old. How with your hand you drove the peoples out and planted our forefathers in the land how you destroyed nations and made your people flourish. For they did not take the land by their sword, nor did their arm win the victory for them. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Jacob. Through you we pushed back our adversaries. Through your name we trampled on those who rose up against us. For I do not rely on my bow and my sword does not give me victory. Surely you gave us victory over our adversaries and put those who hate us to shame. Every day we glorified in God and we praise your name forever. Nevertheless, you have rejected and humbled us and do not go forth with our armies. You have made us fall back before our adversary and our enemies have plundered us. You have made us like sheep to be eaten and have scattered us among the nations. You are selling your people for a trifle and are making no profit on the sale of them. You have made us the scorn of our neighbors, a mockery and derision to those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations a laughing stock among the peoples. My humiliation is daily before me, and a shame has covered my face. Because of the taunts of the mockers and blasphemers, because of the enemy and avenger, all this has come upon us. Yet we have not forgotten you, nor have we betrayed your covenant. <coughs> Our heart never turned back, nor did our footsteps stray from your path. 
though you thrust us down into a place of misery and covered us over with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to some strange God, will not God find it out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Indeed, for your sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, O Lord, why are you sleeping? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why have you hidden your face and forgotten our affliction and oppression? We sink down into the dust. Our body cleaves to the ground. Rise up and help us, and save us for the sake of your steadfast love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The earth is God's, for God made it. reading from the book of Job. So these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. And Elihud, son of Bachel the Bozite, of the family of Ram, became angry. He was angry at Job because he justified himself rather than God. He was angry also at Job's three friends because they had found no answer, though they had declared Job to be in the wrong. Now Elihu had waited to speak to Job because they were older than he. But when Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouths of these three men, he became angry. Elihu, son of Barachel, the Buzite, answered, I am young in years and you are aged. Therefore, I was timid and afraid to declare my opinion to you. I said, let days speak and years teach wisdom. Truly, it is the spirit in a mortal, the breath of the Almighty, that makes for understanding. It is not the old that are wise, nor the aged that understand what is right. Therefore I say, listen to me, let me also declare my opinion. My heart is indeed like wine that has no vent, like new wineskins it is ready to burst. I must speak so that I might find relief. I must open my lips and answer. I will not show partiality to any person or use flattery towards anyone, for I do not know how to flatter, or my maker would soon put an end to me. But now hear my speech, O Job, and listen to all my words. They are also chastened with pain upon their beds and with continual strife in their bones, so that their lives loathe bread and their appetites dainty food. Their flesh is so wasted away that it cannot be seen, and their bones, once invisible, now stick out. Their souls draw near the pit and their lives to those who bring death. Then, if there should be fit for one of them an angel, a mediator, one of a thousand, one who declares a person upright, and he is gracious to that person and says, Deliver him from going down into the pit. I have found a ransom. Let his flesh become fresh with youth. Let him return to the days of his youthful vigor. Then he prays to God as an accepted by him. He comes into his presence with joy, and God repays him for his righteousness. That person sings to others and says, I sinned and perverted what was right, and it was not paid back to me. He has redeemed my soul from going down to the pit, and my life shall see the light. Here ends the reading. Let us, let us pray the invocation section one of the doxology of Canticle 12, beginning on page 88 of the Book of Common Prayer. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels, and all the powers of the Lord, O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord every shower of rain and fall of dew. 
all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and blaspheming. They contradicted what was spoke by Paul. Then both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you. Since you reject it and judge yourselves to be unworthy of eternal life, we are now turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and praised the word of the Lord, and as many as has been destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the region. But the Jews incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their region. So they shook the dust off their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. Here ends the reading. Pray together, Canticle 13, Benedictus S. Domine, page 90 of the Book of Common Prayer. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths and the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from the Gospel of John. Again, the Jews were divided because of these words. Many of them were saying, he has a demon and is out of his mind. Why listen to him? Others were saying, these are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? At the time the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem, it was winter. And Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. Not one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand, the Father and I are one. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these are you going to stone me? The Jews answered, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy, because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. If those to whom the word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, 
And you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming because I said, I am God's son. If I am doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest him again, but he escaped from their hands. He went across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing earlier, and he remained there. Many came to him, and they were saying, John performed no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true. And many believed in him there. Here ends the reading. Pray together, Canticle 19, page 94, the Book of Common Prayer. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. <coughs> Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, or the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Bless God, whose Son, Jesus, now to serve his disciples. We honor you for the witness of your servant, Elinaud, and pray that we, with him, may proclaim Christ in service to those deemed by the world to be the littlest and the least, following Jesus, who came not to be ministered to, but to minister, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, to whom be glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all the assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Thank you for joining us today for our service here at All Saints in San Francisco. We're so glad you have chosen to worship with us today. Happy Labor Day. Um, you may have noticed me stumbled over the psalm announcement. As I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, we're now, although we're doing morning prayer, we're doing the psalms appointed for the evening. So when I started to say appointed for morning, then you realize that wasn't quite correct. It's a psalm we're doing. It is allowed by the rubrics of the Book of Common Prayer. And as we've been through the morning cycle of psalms a couple of times, thought it was good to switch over and hear our evening psalms since we're not uh, doing evening prayer in the church right now. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Dear God, we pray for your holy church, for all who minister in her, for all bishops, priests, deacons, pastors, parsons, all lay people leading services at this time. We pray for all the nations of this world, for all the people. We pray for open, honest, fair, honest elections. We pray for all those in authority. May they be guided to just and moral decisions through your love and your wisdom. We pray for the poor, the sick, the homeless, the hungry, the needy, for those in prison. We suffer for those suffering from COVID-19 and those concerned about it. We pray for the unemployed and those facing financial insecurity. We pray for Janie, Mona, Fred, Aster, Shepard, John, Johnny, Lucille, Lindsay, Terry. Dear God, we pray for the souls of all the departed. We pray for all who have passed away from COVID-19. We pray for George, Ahmad, Brianna, Ashad, Elijah, any all too many to count who have been killed murdered executed because of racial hatred bias bigotry or indifference we pray for dorothy richard kelly oh god we pray to you for the concerns of this community for all those we hold dear in our heart We pray for all government workers, medical workers, frontline workers, emergency personnel, grocery store workers, truck drivers, deliverers, any and all who are working to keep us healthy, safe, and fed. We pray for Polly, Shirley, Bill, Brad, John, the Harris family, the Altamores, the Avilas, the Aloses, and Dejas, Fran, Mina, Steph, Adagunda Marks, Jim and his family, Gregory, Lola, B, Uncle Timothy, Azrael, Beth, Kay, Jerome, Mormons, Roger and his wife, Baby Isla, Mackenzie, Dreamers. We pray for all those struggling with addiction. May they maintain their sobriety at this time. We pray for those estranged from family and loved ones. May the love of Christ bring them back together. And we pray that in this anxious time we may join together prayerfully in thanksgiving, kindness, and gratitude, and forage a time of rebirth and recovery. And dear God, we give you thanks for all the blessings of this life, for each and everything you do for us every single day. We give thanks for this community here at All Saints. Thank you for our interim rector, Beth, our music director, Bill, our office administrator, Augustine, our lay leadership. We give thanks for our Saturday morning food program, praying to you those who are praying to you for those who are fed by it, giving thanks for the volunteers who serve in this ministry and praying that this ministry may begin again soon. We give thanks for the San Francisco Health Care Home, praying to you for those who live there, giving thanks for the medical personnel and staff who work there and the volunteers who serve in this ministry, praying that it also may begin again soon. We give thanks for the 100th birthday of Willard Harris, the baptism of Perevi. Dear God, we give you thanks for this wonderful, marvelous gift of creation. May we become faithful stewards of this great gift. For whom and for what else shall we pray? Let us join together all our prayers in the general thanksgiving found on page 101 of the Book of Common Prayer. 
Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble and hearty thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>